Welcome. This is a conversation on soft skills. I'm Jeff Conklin, and with me today is Greg Blaylock. Hey, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing well, Greg. How are you? Uh, doing all right. It's uh, kind of early in the morning for us, but... Uh, it is, okay, it is, say. but, uh, you know, we used to do a lot earlier than this. So. Well, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Uh, I was talking to our producer just before the show, and he was telling me that uh, this is about as early as he can be here. Yeah, so. he rolls in early, yeah. 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 <laughs> got to be aware of that. Well, we hear people talking about soft skills. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. So, so what are soft skills? What are soft skills? You know, we were, yeah, I think we, uh, we kind of wanted to talk about that today. Yeah, we, we, yeah. This is a conversation we've kind of had in the past. A couple of times. Soft yeah. skills. Um, we work at a university. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we hear at the university is the importance of teaching students soft skills right. so that they can right. enter the workforce successfully. Because after all, that's the whole point of going to a university. At least today. Is, uh, right? Used to be for growth, but it's not about, any longer. It's about employment. Sure, yes. that's a big yes. part of it. Yes, it a big is. part of growth. Uh, but uh, I often think about, as I'm sure you do too, I often think about uh, what soft skills are. We, we got to help impart soft skills to students. What does that mean exactly? Well, you know, and it's it's not just students. It's everybody. Can they answer that question? I asked my wife, what are soft skills? Mm, and she said, mm. is that like a software program? And so, and, and I made light of it at the time, but I was thinking that's kind of where it's at. People can't really tell you. What soft skills yeah. are. So yeah. you, there's really no hard definition of soft skills, is there? No, uh, I, the I pun haven't... was intended, by the way. Yes, so. yes. We, have, we, have, we haven't been able to find one. Do soft skills, well, there's a lot of questions. Not only what, what are soft skills, which is how you open this conversation, and I just threw it back at you with the same question, but do soft skills change according to environment? Well, I first, I think what we have to do is really lay down a foundation and say, well, what are they? What are we talking about? And then we can look at, is there a difference? Do they change over time? Do they change in environments? Do they change in importance? For example, um, soft skills around uh, communication. Okay. Is that okay. more important in some environments than other environments? Okay. Um, well, and... You know, we always, and, and you brought it up yourself earlier, it's about employment. What do employers want mm -hmm. in soft skills? Because mm -hmm. they're the ones we're trying to meet their needs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that's part of the question. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that, one of the programs we uh, have at the university is an inclusive post-secondary education yes. program. You're, yes, yes. Uh, you know that program quite well, and that's for, for people that aren't in, familiar with inclusive post-secondary education. That's basically college programs mm -hmm. uh, that support mm -hmm. students with developmental disabilities, yes. right? Particularly yes. intellectual disabilities. Yes. And uh, one of the major thrusts of these programs, inclusive post-secondary education programs, is really uh, supporting the development yeah. of soft skills you in know, college it, students. It, and I remember when we were first creating the program mm -hmm. and you had me write some curriculum in that area. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was difficult even then coming up with, well, what are we going to teach them? Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? Mm -hmm. And I wonder sometimes if it wasn't too late. I know that's a big part of the program, but mm -hmm. shouldn't a lot of this been addressed years ago? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, these are soft skills are not something that you uh, you teach to anyone in a month. Or yeah, yeah. A here's a class. Take one year. class. Yeah. I, uh, I had a class in soft skills, and I, I, you know, I, I guess developmentally, we're always um, uh, developing our soft skills. I mean, as adults, we mm -hmm. like to think we've got certain soft skills, but I, I think some of us uh, continue to work on developing certain soft skills as adults. You were mentioning that just this morning. You were mm -hmm. talking about your daughter and how right. you approach things with her. It's like developing additional soft skills with you, you right. know, in you. So. Right, right. Um, so, you know, the, uh, the question, what are soft skills? Uh, that's such a big topic. And I think uh, one of the things that occurs to me in answering that question is, well, I don't think there's any one set of accepted soft skills. I think soft okay. skills is a term that's more of an umbrella term. Okay. 
um, sort of like academic skills. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. If one were to ask what are academic skills, well, it kind of depends on the environment, the context, uh, the level. Okay, Um, okay. Academic skills could involve reading skills, basic reading skills, advanced reading skills, interpretation skills, uh, basic writing skills, uh, skills related to math, skills related to science. Okay. Um, How do you behave in class? That's right. (laughs) Uh, How you problem solve. Yes. Some of these bigger pieces of academic skills. And I... You know, I, I think soft skills is similar to that. What do you think? Well, you know, I, I think that's right. And when we talk, going back to the some of the students you work with in your program, uh, some of the soft skills you're working on with them is how do you go to class? What do you do in class? How do you inter- interact in class? How do you interact? Yeah. Right? Uh, how do you problem solve? Yes. Uh, you know, when I think about it, I don't know about you, when someone asks me about soft skills, one of the things that occurs to me is uh, I think about those people that don't have certain always, soft skills. Always. And so, that helps me figure out what soft skills are. So it's like come back and say, these aren't soft skills, so this must be what they are. Right, <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one student I know, college student I know, who's um, uh, visually impaired mm-hmm. and... Um, has a developmental disability. And um, uh, one of the things that uh, this student uh, has grown up with a lot of great support from okay. family, from friends who help uh, really uh, make sure that the needs <coughs> of this student are met mm-hmm. in a mm-hmm. very positive way. Um, so much so that often, the student's needs are met before the student even has them as a need. Okay. Right? Okay. And so one of the things that, which is great, um, but? but one of the things that this student is learning in college is that there are certain needs um, that uh, she never realized she had because somebody always made sure it was taken care of to yeah. the point that where yeah. it was never a need. So imagine you've... Um, spent your whole life um, uh, getting dressed. Okay. And somebody always picked out what you were going to wear. Sure. Right? Well, okay, great. So, you know, yeah. There's nothing wrong yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then when somebody might say at some point, okay, you want to be a little more independent, why don't you start picking out what you want to wear? That's a really foreign concept it, to somebody that's never had to think about that. I can't imagine. It, I really can't. Completely yeah, foreign. yeah. Think about, um, Jeff, as you got ready to come to work every morning your entire life. Connie, your wife, packs your bag for you and makes sure you've got everything you need with you. To the it, would point be, of, it would be heaven. Right? It would be, <laughs> be wonderful. Until one day somebody she comes along and says, uh, Jeff, uh, go ahead and get what you need so that we can get ready and, and go to work. But but it's, it's already a, done. That's right. What do you mean get ready? <laughs> yeah, what, what, yeah. I don't even know what I... Or you get to work and you say to me, uh, I need my jacket. Can you get it out of my bag? Okay, Jeff, where is it in your bag? I have no idea. I don't I don't pack my bag. It's just, yeah. Well, what's yeah. in your bag? I don't know, right? I hope my jacket is. The, <laughs> that's right. And so this is something that this student is really um, uh, is, is learning. Okay. That there are these okay. certain needs that she's fully capable of, of learning, oh, and that's certainly. part of what certainly. she's doing as a, as a part of uh, becoming a more independent adult. But uh, getting back to soft skills, one of the things that she's, that's related directly to this is when she's realizing she has a question about something, mm-hmm. there's different ways of asking the question. And what she's okay. realizing okay. and struggling with, understandably, is asking questions in the form of a command Yes, doesn't <laughs> always serve you the best way. It used to work. <laughs> it used to work. That's right. And so when you say to some, there's a big difference uh, between saying to somebody, can you check in my bag and see if I have my jacket? Or get my jacket. Get my jacket. Get my jacket. Where's my jacket? Yeah. Did you get my jacket? And uh, so, you know, that's a soft skill. Uh, Learning how to interact with people on a different level. You know what I was thinking about as you were 
talking about that is that's something we work with little children, Mm -hmm. you know, two or three going from commanding and demanding to asking. That's right. That's right. And I don't know if we're still doing that as much as we used to. That's right. And I think the, uh, I think the, for me, part of the point is, well, for different people, they learn that for various reasons at different points in their life. Right. But nevertheless, there's certain soft skills I think people need to learn. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, to be more or less successful. Absolutely. Um, I think of I think of a, a colleague of ours, mm-hmm. and you know anybody can name this person where they work. I'm sure a colleague of ours who's who's um, extremely um, smart. Okay. Knows exactly knows his field. Knows what he. Okay. Knows. He's a uh, great advocate for faculty mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. at the university where we happen to work. Um, uh, but um, he's, he's missing some communication soft skills yes. such that uh, everything, when you talk with him, everything is a negative. Yes. Everything is a problem. Yes. And you, it's one of those people, we all know those people, hey, Jim, how's it going? And boy, he tells you how it's going yes. from a very <laughs> negative point of view to the point to where you just after a while don't really want to ask him how it's going. Or when you see him come and you want to run. Or you just <laughs> kind of turn around. Yes. I'm just it, not in the mood for that conversation. Or no matter what he has to say, you don't want to hear it. That's exactly yeah. right. Because it has that tone. That's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. right. And uh, so, th- again, that's somebody that in the absence of soft skills mm-hmm. makes me go, yeah, mm-hmm. that's a soft skill. Knowing how to balance your message of this could be better, this could be improved, this could be improved with this is what's going well. Right. You know, this is what works well. Well, and you know, the sad part about that is people don't realize that they're lacking in that or how they're coming across to others at all. Right. And, you know, that's, that's pretty sad. But as you were talking, I was also thinking about in specific groups of people, that would be okay. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter how you communicate. Right. Because it's not important. It's not important. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is self-awareness then a soft skill? It occurs to me as you're, well, as you're talking. Self-awareness and self-reflection. How am I coming across or why aren't people responding to me? Is that a soft skill when we talk about self-reflection or the ability to reflect, the ability to be aware after the fact? You know, and that's a darn good question because we push that a lot. Mm-hmm. That self-reflection. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure everybody does it. Um, it's almost to use something we talk about that mindfulness, right? Being sure. aware of what's going on around you in the here and now. In Just the here and now, staying focused on that, and uh, somehow that may fit into this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if I'm detached, and you and I are hanging out together, and I'm not mindful. I'm not paying attention. I'm just kind of distracted. Right, right. Then that is a soft skill. Right. Being here with we, you. Yeah. That's right. We talk about as <clears throat> uh, teacher educators, we talk about the importance of of um, helping to uh, helping teachers to become reflective practitioners. Yes. Oh right? gosh, all the time. Well, becoming a reflective practitioner, reflective practicing, uh, that's a noun. Is that a soft <laughs> skill? <laughs> well, and, and you, just going with that. How difficult is it to teach self-reflection? Right. H- how do you go about that? Well, and we try it, and it's frustrating as heck. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you're speaking a foreign language. Right. You know? Right. Or when you're working with students to say, "I want you to reflect on this." Right. So maybe that is one of those soft skills that we're talking about: the ability to look within, mm-hmm. to see how you're coming across. That that self-monitoring. Self-awareness, self-monitoring, yes. Yes. self-reflection. There's some soft skills. Uh, definitely soft skills in communicating. And uh, knowing who your audience is sure. and adjusting how you communicate based on who your audience is. That's a soft skill, Well, right? and, and when you're talking communication, I think we almost have to define what we mean because everybody thinks they're communicating all the time now. They're all tuned in. You know, everybody's right. constantly on their phone and, you know, they're in the, the Twitterverse and they're, right? And, and is that really communication? Or has it just become so reflexive to just, you know, uh, I was talking to a colleague just today 
about uh, going out to eat with a relative. And the entire time they were at the meal, the young person was on their phone, texting the entire time. Mm. So right, right. when you talk of audience and communicating, it's, you know, what, right. were they communicating? Why did you bother to come out? Right. How many times have you been out for a meal? You go to a restaurant, and there's four people, two couples sitting at a table, and everybody has their phone out. Right, yeah. Why did you go out? Why did you bother? Right. Are those soft skills? Are they lacking in soft skills? Are they lacking or, or are they, um, yeah. Or are they a different set of soft skills? Okay, um, okay. You know, uh, it might be completely appropriate for them to be on their phones, uh, given their context and why they went out to eat and what the whole point of their experience was. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's n soft skills relates to knowing what the context or the situation requires okay. in that okay. moment okay. to be successful. Okay. Uh, so when that's em huge, employers ask or to say they want employees with good soft skills, then I hear them saying, given our context, whatever my context is in a, as an employer, I want to make sure they've got the flexibility in understanding that different situations require different behaviors. Okay, okay. And they have to understand, number one, that the situations differ okay. or can differ. Okay. And then how different behaviors fit various contexts, okay. various situations. Okay. I can see that. Um, and maybe people with poor soft skills don't pick up on different situations requiring different behaviors to be more or less successful. So it goes back around to what we were saying, that self-awareness. Self-awareness, yep. Um, Situational being, awareness. Being mindful of the situation, yep. what's going on. Yep. You know, okay, I've seen you text before. Mm -hmm. I've seen you spend some time with your phone before. Right. How in the moment are you when you're doing that? How in the moment are you on text or how in the moment are you outside of text? And well, that's the real question. And you I may think. be doing it in text, but if we're together and we're doing something and that's what you're doing. Right. How in the moment are um, you? Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I think that's... Um, <clears throat> I think part of, of any interaction is understanding that there is is uh, recognition that there's other things going on around okay. you. Okay. And the difficulty with text lots of times is, boy, that's just one more thing that's going on around you that sometimes doesn't need to be dealt with okay. in that moment. But then sometimes in order to be in the moment, the, the personal face-to-face -face moment, one might have to pay attention to a text in order to get that over with. Okay, thing. okay, okay. Um, and of course, I think then the soft skill related to texting might be, I don't know this, I haven't thought much about it, but it might be related to understanding when paying attention to a text within a face-to-face -face moment helps enhance that face-to-face -face moment because it takes care of whatever it is needed to be put to bed. Okay. And then what does it need to be dealt with? Okay. Okay. In order to, um, uh, so for example, if I'm if I'm in a moment with anyone and there's, um, you know, maybe my wife, okay, communicates something to me by text that needs an immediate answer from her right. end of things. Right. If I ignore it, then that my ability to stay focused in the moment diminishes because right. I might get. Three more texts. You might. In the next you minutes, might. You know, in the next <laughs> if I, 10 if I don't respond. Yeah. Um, or I might, uh, on a cognitive level or emotional level, might be th like off in a kind of thinking about, well, I better take care of that. Uh, you know, I, I, that's hanging out there. Okay. Whereas uh, if I just take care of it, I get that text, I look at it, I see, okay, this needs to be a quick you know, sentence response. Yes, no, then. maybe. Yeah. Let me give the yes, no, maybe, so that then I can keep put that going. to bed. Okay, and, okay. And keep, um, even if the response is, I'm talking to so-and-so right now, let me get back to you in a second. Sure. You know, or in sure. a minute. Again, it's sorting, sifting, determining what's a priority. Situational okay. awareness. Yeah, yeah. That sounds. Okay, so, so we're talking that could be a soft skill. 
or yeah. might might very well be one. And the communication part is one. What mm -hmm. else are we talking about? What are other soft skills? Yeah. I think, uh, let's see, how one presents physically mm. is a soft skill. How one gets dressed. You know, okay. You, you, okay. When, you get, when you get dressed for work, are you thoughtful about what you wear? Um, mm. Do you have the... Mm. Um, uh, the awareness to know that uh, today's a work day, I probably shouldn't wear jeans. Or, But, again, it's looking at the environment. It's understanding what your environment yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, which is decision. part of that awareness and, you know, sifting and sorting and filtering and, yeah. Today's, today's a typical work day, I don't need to wear a suit. Yeah. As opposed to, yeah. no, today is a atypical work day, there's something important going on, it's a little more formal, I better wear a suit. I better dress up. Sure. So really understanding how to dress. And in fact, when we're preparing teachers, isn't that a big part sometimes of what we help them determine is when you go out into a school, think about what you're, as a teacher, what you're going to be wearing. That's been what a big be issue through the years. What would be a not, not appropriate. That's e right. Even as far as shoes, footwear, what, what's appropriate, what's what appropriate, is, yeah, yeah, what isn't. yeah. What's a good idea, what's not a good idea. What are idea? you trying to project? What's the message? You know, what's your, you know, what are you? Yeah. That's right. And when you think about it, you know, when you're a 20 year old, kid and um, you're maybe going out into the schools as a practicing teacher for the first time, um, you know, you know, you want to wear something nice. Yes. But your definition of nice might be different from a professional definition yes. of nice. So, uh, you know. But it's funny. That's evolving as well. Professional tire. Remember business attire? used to be a shirt and tie. That's right. Now business attire is dressed like you are or dressed right. like I am. It's about being aware. It, right? it, it is. So and, it, and as you mentioned before, it evolves. It does evolve. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Soft skills are a lot like language when you think about it. You know, okay. the English language evolves. It's We don't speak the same English language that we did even a decade ago. No, or, that's true. Let alone that's, two decades or go or three decades. Language is very dynamic. New words are introduced. Mm -hmm. Older words mm -hmm. are sort of put out to pasture after a time. You know, it's very cultural and sociologically based. Soft skills, I think, are the same way, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. understanding how to dress for a particular job changes over time. It does. It you, really you does. You know, as a professor, you no longer wear your uh, tweed jacket with the patches on the elbow. You know, I wish I had one. You put that, you put that to bed. <laughs> yeah, I really. <laughs> so, uh, so we've got soft skills related to uh, communication. Yes. Soft, soft skills related to how one might dress. Right. 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 Uh, I think we have soft skills related to body language, don't you? Well, you know, and I, as I was just thinking right now, it's all interaction with other people. Mm -hmm. The communication part, the body language, all of that. He's mm -hmm. just saying, how do we interact with each other as mm -hmm. humans? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we know anymore. What do you mean? Explain that. As I, I see know. more and more people out there, we're, we're kind of an isolated group. Uh, you and I have had the conversation before about what is a friend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, And that's part of that interaction. What is an interaction with another person? Um, we were talking one time about your daughter and my granddaughter and Facebook friends. Mm, and are right. they friends? Right. How can you call that a friend? You've never met them. Mm -hmm. How can you share things with your Facebook friend that you've never met? Mm -hmm. And do you understand what a friend is? Mm -hmm. And that's a part of that interaction. Where do you weigh people in your environment? You know, that kind right. of thing. Well, you know, and it's, it is a lot of soft skills is all about the, the social and the interactional friends, for example, I've come to accept the idea that my idea of a friend is very different from perhaps my 14 year old's idea of a friend. Okay. It's, okay. A, it's a different definition. Okay. You know, they might overlap in some important ways, but then there might also be an understanding that you can have a Facebook friend. You can have a friend as as it might be defined by an individual okay. that you've that you've never met uh, wouldn't be my definition of a friend. right right um, so the definition has it's, changed it, yeah. the language has changed <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, and, and yeah. when you think about um, relationships you okay know, good um, word there you've got these almost circles concentric circles of relationships you've got your innermost circle which is you know you and the people you're closest to right okay. typically okay. our immediate family mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. type our kids our spouse uh, our parents 
brothers, sisters maybe, but then you move one concentric circle out and maybe you've got relationships that are a little more distant than that. They sure. might be your cousins or um, people a little further out in your, your biological family, um, or they might be include close friends. Right? Okay, okay. And then you go another circle out, and uh, you've got maybe some friends that are not your close friends, but they're friends. Okay. Uh, you might call them, yeah, they're not my closest friends, but they're people I know, I like, I hang out, you okay. know, that sort of okay. thing. And then you take another circle out, and those, and then you're getting perhaps into people you know, acquaintances. Acquaintances, right? okay, yeah. So they're yeah. not friends, but right. they're acquaintances. They're right. people I know. You say I talk hi to every so yeah. often. Yeah. They know my name. I might know their name. They might know mine. We may not know each other. Sure. Name, right. Sure. Uh, and then you go a circle out that, and they're not so much acquaintances, but maybe they're people we see in the community. Okay. Um, okay. People that help us get stuff done. So okay. like when I go to the bank down there, that's not an acquaintance so much. But it's somebody I have a relationship with. It's a, of, of uh, sorts. To yes. use what we might use with young kids, community helpers. Community right? helpers. Okay. Uh, and then you go. Uh, uh, yeah, it might also be. Um, it might be neighbors, people that okay. live in your neighborhood. Okay. You recognize okay. them. They're not really acquaintances, but you know they live down the street. Y right? You know they do, and um, you see them, and yeah, they, okay. They sort of belong in your mind. You've mm -hmm. organized them as belonging to a certain environment. Okay. Whether it's a bank. Or, okay grocery store or even your neighborhood. And then outside of that, you might hit the the complete strangers. All These right. are the people you're walking okay. through the mall and you know, if you're from a small town, you might say, howdy, how you doing? As you walk by them, you drive by people, you don't know who they are, right. you might wave to them. Or if you grow up in the city like I did, you just walk right by them. <laughs> you never right? make eye contact. <laughs> you never make eye contact, okay. right? Okay. And, uh, and for many of us, we grow and, and kind of do a combination of those types of behaviors as strangers. But, um, but I sort of think of uh, soft skills on another level with an understanding of how you appropriately interact with these different concentric circle of people, all of which you have a certain level of relationship with. Okay, okay. Uh, but how you interact appropriately with them mm -hmm. um, in life. And of course then, well, who defines what's appropriate? Well, it's culturally defined what's appropriate. Uh, as I just said, and you grow up in a small town and- right. It's socially appropriate to when you drive by people on the street as a driver, you wave to them. Well, you know, uh, that's completely inappropriate yeah. in Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm you sure. do not do that, yeah. right? Yeah. Simply because you'd look kind of weird. Mm -hmm. um, like, what's up with that guy? Yeah. But if you're in LA, you're from LA, and you're in that small town, and you're not waving at people, completely inappropriate, mm -hmm. outright mm -hmm. rude, mm -hmm. you know, type mm -hmm. thing. And so these are very culturally based. All right. Definitions. All right. And so social uh, soft skills, culturally based skills, I'd say. I, th I think that's a good point. Right? I think a lot of it is culturally based. I think that's very good. Um, as I was thinking a little bit further, with some of the students you work with, they are definitely lacking in soft skills. And I think one way we could define soft skills is to look at what they're missing mm. that's so mm -hmm. important and why they're in your program. Mm, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's true of all college students. Okay, getting okay. back to okay. um, really what employers are looking for. I think all college students, it's incumbent upon us as faculty, but it's mm -hmm. really ultimately incumbent upon all college students to learn what soft skills are, which ones are most important for what they want to do in life, and then develop those. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've got a student, brilliant student, undergraduate student right now. You know who she is as well. Um, who's extremely smart, knows what right. she wants to do. Right. Uh, wants to get into research. Right. Um, massively lacking oh. in a lot of basic interactional yes. soft skills. Yes. Yes. Right. And not because of any particular disability or oh, anything no. like that. No, no. It's just uh, nope. That's just how she is. Yeah. And so one of the things to be successful she's got to do is understand some of the soft skills she's lacking mm -hmm. and, and then focus on those okay. and work on those. Okay. Um, and as it happens, this is a student that is recognizing what some of those are. And That's a big part of it right there. Beginning yeah. to think about. Again, that goes back to what we said earlier, though, about self-reflection. Right. And that's... Self-awareness. Self-awareness self and self-reflection. Yeah. Right, right. And that's a big part of really what we're talking about here. 
Right. And I, I think what makes it tricky is not just how the idea that many soft skills are ill-defined, which right. I look forward to having opportunities to try to define some of these sure. things more concretely sure. with and, you. And, but and we'll pull out some that's solid right. ones. Yeah. But the fact that many of these soft skills are very ill-defined, they're culturally based, okay. um, situationally based, um, but then often there's some of us that develop these soft skills by just observing and doing. You know, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we yeah. have models all around us. And whether we do it consciously or not, for most of us, it's very unconscious. Mm-hmm. We, we conform to what models demonstrate for us. Okay. So we develop our soft skills in that way. But some of us need what we in teacher ed might call direct instruction. Yes. <laughs> where, where, where we would have to say, somebody would need to hear, okay, so this is the soft skill you're missing. You're not, when you're talking to your peers, right. you're not thinking about how your peers are hearing you, sure. what they're seeing about sure. you, and how that might be detrimental to them connecting with you and you connecting with them. So let's look at that okay. and work on that. So we would practice and we'd rehearse and we'd work. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And that makes good, be conscious good, good sense it. to do that. Yeah. And so some people are just more naturally um, attuned to soft skills okay. than others are, I think. Well, you know, and, and as you were talking, I was thinking back years ago to Dale Carnegie. Oh, yes. Remember sure. that? Yeah, and absolutely. what was Dale Carnegie trying to teach people? That's it. That's right. Yes. That's right. Those were soft skills. That's right. He did, yeah. Carnegie did a lot of hard skills, but a lot of it yeah. was, it was most How of it was to win soft friends skills. and influence people, That's right. right? Just to throw out one of his titles. That's but right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember, boy, years ago when I first graduated um, with my bachelor's and was getting into engineering, I remember driving from a uni- the university I was going to in central New Mexico to um, California, uh, Central California. I remember where my first job was. I remember listening to cassette tapes in my car of Dale Carnegie. Okay, okay. That's so funny. I haven't thought about that That, since. And and it had just occurred to me again because that was so hot for years. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And what was he basically pushing? Those were soft skills. Soft skills. skills. Yeah. That's right. Uh, And companies... I rem- oh. boy, companies would oh. uh, send their people. Yes, they were. Oh, uh, to conferences, uh, to workshops, and you had to read the books, and yeah, oh yeah, and right. listen to the tapes. That's and, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So maybe all of the soft skills I have, I, I owe to Dale Carnegie. That today. could very well uh, be. Maybe all of my missing soft skills <laughs> I owe to Dale Carnegie as well. As well. I didn't get I to those so. tapes, maybe. But, well, uh, I, I think we've come to a point where we're going to need to wrap up. So I think some of the key points we made today are mm-hmm. uh, soft skills are hard to grab a hold of. That's yep. why they're soft skills, partially. Um, communication's big. Yep. yep. Self-awareness is big. Uh, self-reflection is big. Mm-hmm. Uh, being in the moment. It's big. Yeah. Those yeah. are all of those. Those are a great conversation. I, I think it was a very good conversation, and we'll have to pick this up again. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Greg.